everyone. This tutorial is gonna walk you through an overview of all of Simplified's video editing tools and features. So to access everything video related, go ahead and click this video tab in the top toolbar. On this homepage, you'll see this create space with three different options here. The first is generating with AI. So you can give the AI a command. It will generate original artwork for you and you can use that in your video. You can use this browse templates option in order to browse our many professionally designed video templates, or you can start from scratch using this button here. Below this, you will see all of your recent projects and you can click this arrow to view all of your projects. Below this, you'll get a little preview of some of our amazing templates. And lastly, at the bottom, you'll see our Simplified tutorials. Simplified has a video tutorial for every single one of our features, so be sure to check this out to learn a bit more about all the different tools you can use. On this left-hand side menu, you'll see this search bar. This space will allow you to specify what you're looking for, whether it be a certain theme or holiday, a past project of yours, a quick tool such as converting a video to a different type of file, turning a video into a GIF, generating a color palette, finding your brand kit, account options, and more. Whatever you type in here, Simplified will find it for you. Below the search option is projects. This will bring you to your project homepage with all of your past projects for your entire workspace. You'll also see at the top here that you'll have your folders. You can create a new folder using this button here, and you can always rename folders using this three dot icon and clicking the name. You can also delete them by using this delete option here. You can play around with organization here by selecting different projects and then adding them to different folders. Now let's talk about this brand and assets button here. This section here is a wonderful space to curate your brand identity, which will help you and your entire team create a voice and tone for your brand. Under the assets tab, you will see your folders and your assets. Assets are media that is saved and easily accessed when designing. Later in the video, I'll show you how you can access your assets when you're designing. You can always add more assets to your workspace by either clicking or dragging and dropping files here from your device. Now let's come to this brand kit tab here. This is a space all about your brand identity. You can create a color palette based on your brand colors. You can choose your brand fonts and you can even upload a logo. I recommend naming the brand kit here based on your business's name. And if you're a marketing manager and you have multiple brands that you're managing, I recommend adding multiple brand kits. This folders tab here will bring you to your folders and the brand template and component sections are saved templates and saved components and elements that are easily accessed when you're designing. Brand templates are wonderful and are often used by your team and your designers as a blueprint when designing for your brand. I'll walk through later in this video how you can save your artboard as a brand template and how you can save individual elements as components. Now let's talk about this template button here. You can use this search bar at the very top to search for a specific theme or an idea. You can browse by video size by using this slider here. If you scroll down, you'll see all these different design templates for different kinds of videos. These are some recent creations that our design team has created. So I highly recommend using a template and then customizing it to your liking. If you found a template that you like, you can actually hover your mouse over the template to get a little preview of what the template looks like in motion. I'm gonna choose this template by simply selecting it and this window will open up. Here I'll get a little preview of what the template will look like on an artboard. I'll have a little preview of the different colors that are in this template. And then below, I'll actually get some options for similar templates that I might want to explore as well. Because I wanna use this template here, I'm going to click this yellow use template button. A new tab will open up with your artboard. So now we're in the portion of the video that's going to talk about the different video design features. You'll see that you have your artboard here. You have a top toolbar with some tools. You have a left-hand side toolbar with some additional tools. And then below here, you have your timeline view, which you can collapse using this arrow or open by clicking timeline view here. I'm going to expand my timeline view by dragging up. And here I can see my video content as well as my music content. So this timeline view is marking second by second everything that happens in my video. I can drag this slider and drop it at certain points within my video to see what the viewer will see when my video is, for example, at two seconds. I can click this play button to preview my entire video. And now I wanna talk about this three dot icon in the corner here. You can duplicate this video artboard, you can delete the video, or you can adjust. Let's go ahead and select adjust. 
Now we have this open up, which looks a little bit confusing, but isn't actually that complicated. Basically, what this is showing you is a breakdown of every single element in your video artboard and when it appears. So my first shape will appear at 0.5 seconds. I can adjust the elements by either trimming, by dragging either left or right, or clicking and dragging the entire element itself, either left or right, depending if I want it sooner in the video or later. And I can see that I have my text, so I know this is my give portion of my text, and this is the away, and I have it staggered. So first the give will appear, and then the away. These are really wonderful and easy to use tools that allow you to play around with the different elements in your video until you find the order and the version that you like. If you ever make an adjustment to your video and you decide that you wanna undo the change, all you have to do is use this undo button here in the top left corner. I wanna go back to my timeline view as I had it before, and now I wanna talk about some of these tools in this top toolbar quickly. This plus icon will add an additional artboard to your video. This trash can icon will delete an artboard. This clone artboard will clone your artboard. This paint bucket icon will control your background tools. So let's say you wanna change the color of your background. All I have to do is click here. A menu will open up on the right-hand side where you all see my brand kit options are available to me, as well as custom colors if I wanna play around with that. I want to choose my brand kit colors, so I'm going to select this pink color. In this background option, you can also use an image as your background. If I selected this, a menu would open up with Simplified's Photo Media Library. There are thousands and thousands of photos, videos, GIFs, and even audio to choose from. This icon here is a resize artboard tool. Basically, if you're designing a video and you decide that you want different dimensions for your artboard, you can either enter a custom size or Simplified already has the required dimensions for many different social media platforms ready to go. And all you have to do is simply click. This icon here is the animate icon. You can either animate your entire artboard or you can select a specific element and then choose animate. These animation tools will open up on the right hand side. And now you can choose which animation you want for this specific element. You can hover your mouse over different presets to preview what it will be like on your element. I love the zoom in, so I'm going to select that. And now my element has this animation attached to it. I can also adjust the duration. I can choose an enter animation as well as an exit animation. You can control even more specifics of the animations, such as the direction, as well as the animation speed, the easing, and you could even put your animation on a loop. There are lots of different options here when you're animating your artboard. So if you're curious about this, you can check out our animation tutorial, which goes into this feature with a lot more detail. Now that we've covered all the tools in the top toolbar, let's talk about these options on the left-hand side toolbar. This My Assets icon will open up those assets that we saw earlier. So again, this is a great place to store elements that you're using over and over again when you're designing. You'll also see that you have access to your brand kit here, as well as your folders. Below, you'll just be able to access your templates as well as your team templates. Below that, you'll see our text options where you can browse our different kinds of text, different fonts, different typographies, and so many other amazing text tools. Below that, you'll see the media icon, which we already covered. The visuals icon is a really fun place to play around. Our designers have created thousands of visuals to help your design stand out a little bit. So use this search bar to search for a specific theme or an idea, or if you know that you're looking for a specific genre, such as flowers and leaves, you can browse all of our different visual elements that we have. Below the visuals, you'll see the AI images. This is a space where you can get access to the AI to actually create AI-generated images right within your artboard. And lastly, this captions option. This is a space where you can actually upload captions and subtitles to videos that have speaking audio. We have an entire tutorial that goes in depth about all the different steps that are needed to do this, so definitely check that out. Now that we've covered these tools, I wanna to talk about this microphone icon here. This icon will give you the options to either record a voiceover, which means you can actually record your own voice and then add it to your video artboard, add text to speech, or even add voiceover and audio from your own device. Now that we've covered a lot of our design tools, I wanna to talk about organization and sharing with your team. I highly recommend always naming your project. And if I wanted to save this as a template, 
All I would have to do is use the settings icon and then choose save as a template. I could also clone my project here, rename my project, and see an entire version history of my project. I can use this comment option to leave a comment and even tag members of my team. My team member can then resolve, edit, and delete the comment or respond to the comment. This eye icon here will give you a preview of what your video will look like. This share button will allow you to share with different members of your team, invite people using their email address, or even toggle this on to get a link to share externally outside of Simplified. You can also share within your Simplified community with other workspaces that you have integrated into your. And lastly, you can export your artboard. You can either download it as a video to your device, you can publish it on social media right through our content calendar, or you can publish it to that community that we were just talking about. Thanks for watching, guys. We'd love to hear from you in the comments and do check out our other tutorials to see all the different features and tools that you can use on Simplified to help you create amazing video designs. See you there.